Hello, in this session we will look at your file provisioners. In the last session we looked at your local exec provisioner which can be executed something on the local machine. Now we will look at your file provisioner which can be used to copy some files or a set of files to the remote machine basically the resources that you are creating. So this helps you to copy some files or a directory as well that is your collection of files from the machine running Terraform to the newly created resources. So from your local machine to the remote machine, if you want to copy some files or your set of files, we can make use of your file provisioner for that. So the file provisioner supports both SSH and WinRM type connection. So you know you can copy the files to your Linux machines by using the SSH connectivity. You can also copy the files to your Windows machine by using the WinRM connectivity. All right, so here, uh, is the resource block I have and here is the file provisioner so that's the type of provisioner we are using and then here is my connection block so here I'm using SSH that means this is a, a Linux machine so that's my connection block so what happens is when this provisioner uh, executes it will use this connection block to uh, connect to this resource and copy this source file to my destination file on the remote resource so you are using SSH, your username, your private key, the public IP and it will use the port 22 to establish the connectivity. So let's see an example for this. So here I have the repo where all the code is available. I'll share this repo in the description uh, or in the resources uh, section. Uh, you, can, you can access this uh, files using that link. So here is my provider block where I have defined my provider. So let's start writing this. So we'll create our uh, provider block over here. So um, what I'll do is I will let me quickly change this to a variable. So we'll use this EC2 region variable. Then we have our locals.tf where we'll define our tags. So let's copy this and let's create locals.tf. And this will be our tags then uh, we are going to use our we are going to use our main.tf which is basically the resource all right so here I'm launching one EC2 instance so this will be our main.tf so we're launching an instance that's the name uh, that's the couple of variables we have defined we are also using a key pair using the data source block we are getting the name of the uh, key pair and here is the provisional type is file so here we are giving the source so basically what you want to copy and then the destination as to where you want to copy on the remote machine all right and then here is the connection block so what connectivity information my provisional block will use to connect to this resource so we are using ssh ubuntu the username the default username i'm using ubuntu ami so that's the default username and then the private key so we're using the pem file to establish the connectivity now this pem file is available on my local machine itself all right i'll show that to you and then for the host the public ip i'm telling it to get that information from this resource so aws underscore instance dot web underscore instance dot public ip and then using port 22 for the connectivity okay so here you should be able to see the pem file all right so i have the pem file and will this will be you have to make sure that the pem file is stored on your terraform machine because this is what terraform will use to establish the connectivity post this we will have your uh, variables so let's look at your oh, or let's look at your data so we are calling the key pair over here so this will be my data.tf okay and then we have our variables so here we have defined all the variables variables.tf i just have to define one more variable for my region and let's give it a type as string and the description as specify the region for the resources and this becomes my variables block 
The last thing we have is your values. So we'll pass that in the terraform.tf vars. So here we will be giving all the values. So terraform.tf vars. Now this one you may want to change depending on your requirement. So uh, in my case, the key pair is this. So depending on the key pair that you are using, you'll have to specify accordingly. This is the AMI I'm going to use and this is the instance type. Also, I'll have to declare one more variable for the region. So here my region would be US East 1 region. So this becomes my configuration files. So the resource block, uh, the data source block, the locals provider, the variable values and the variables. So let's initialize this. Now, before I run this, we will also need to create a source file, the file that we are going to copy to the remote machine. Okay, so here I don't have it. Uh, I will update this and I'll include the uh, source file. So in our case, if you see the source file that we are using, this is the source file script.sh. All right. So let me quickly create that. And let's say I'll just add a dummy code to this this file was created on the terraform machine and copied to the new ec2 instance all right so this becomes my script so this is the source file that we want to copy and then the, the destination would be the new ec2 instance that will be launched so let's initialize this so initialization is already done however i'm doing it once again and let's generate a plan so terraform plan will show that uh, this will create one resource for us and then let's apply this so terraform apply let's auto approve this and this should start creating the resources for us so in our case one instance will be launched and in that EC2 instance, the source file that we have that will be copied over to the path, the destination path that we have given, it will get copied over to that. So let's wait for this to complete. So here you can see this is now executing the file provisioner whatever we have given and this is done. So let's validate this by logging into this instance. So here I should be able to see the new instance. Okay, This is the instance we have. Let's log into that. the username at the server IP. So this will log into the server and if you look at the destination, so in our case the destination we gave was, uh, let me show you. So this was the destination slash home slash Ubuntu and then script.sh. So right now this is the path slash home slash Ubuntu. So here I should be able to see the script.sh file. And if you look at the content of this, you can see this is the new content. So basically, the file from my local machine. So Terraform in my case is the local machine. So file from this local machine is copied over to the new resource. So this is where we can make use of your file provisioners whenever you want to copy files from your local machine to the uh, new resources, like your new instances, you make use of your file provisioner for that. Now, the file provisioner can be used to upload a complete directory as well. So, you know, uh, multiple files can also be uploaded to the uh, remote machine. When uploading a directory, there are a few uh, additional considerations that you'll have to keep in mind. If you're using the SSH connection type, then the destination directory must be created first. So, you'll have to manually go and create the destination directory on your remote resource 
first. All right. So if you need to create it, we can make use of the remote exec provisioner just prior to the file provisioner in order to create the directory. So in order to do this, we can make use of your remote exec. We will be looking at this in the next session. So here you'll have two provisioner blocks. One provisioner which will create the directory, the another, another provisioner which will copy the files for us. Okay. And if you're using the WinRM connection type, the destination directory will be created if uh, it does not already exist. So if, if it's on the Windows machine, then the directory gets created automatically if it does not exist. The existence of a trailing slash on the source path will determine whether the directory name will be embedded within the destination or whether the des destination will be created. For example, so let's say your source is slash foo. We don't have a trailing slash and the destination is slash temp. Then the contents of slash foo on the local machine will be uploaded to slash temp slash foo on the remote machine. So if you don't have a trailing slash, the folder itself will be copied over to your destination folder. All right, so the foo directory on the remote machine will be created by Terraform. And if you have the trailing slash, then only the content of this folder will be copied over to your temp directory. All right, so the contents of your slash foo will be uploaded directly into the temp. So these are some of the considerations that you'll have to keep in mind when you're making use of the file provisional. That's all for this um, session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.